Hey, what's up YouTube? This is a video on framing a basement. Right now I'm doing exterior walls. Uh, this will be a bedroom. I just want to show you some tips and tricks for when you're doing layout and things that make your life a little bit easier when you're framing a basement. Thanks for watching. Please go to Meyer Construction and hit like, hit subscribe. So one trick when you're snapping lines by yourself, take a roofing nail, wall five inches on each end, and you, I tend to run it as close to the bottom as possible. That way your chalk line stays nice and flat. And as you can see there, I'm tacked in at five inches. Then you can run your line out. And that's if you're snapping lines by yourself. Um, that's just kind of a cool trick for you. So once you get your line snapped out on the floor, then obviously this exterior wall runs parallel with my floor joist. So what you're gonna do, I personally did three foot centers, but you'll mark your joist on three foot centers, transfer that mark over to the mud till, and I'm gonna cut lookouts in and nail those up at three foot centers. And I'll show you how to do that. So my first lookout, 13 and 3 quarters. And I like to start one screw through the bottom of the floor joist. So you can kind of see how position it. Toad screwed each side. And I screwed down into the mud sill. So that's one look out. I'll I'll butt in to the bottom plate over there. When I get to my line, I'm here. What you're going to want to do is run one wall past a full three and a half. You can see I pulled, here's my intersection of my two lines. I pulled three and a half, set my first stud. You'll turn that one on edge. And then here's my intersecting wall. So there's my drywall backing. I'm stacking, stacking my studs. 102 and a quarter. So then I'll pull off my last stud out and it'll be X ahead what you do is use my square so I'll show you how to lay out a three stud corner you can see here's my last stud. That's on layout. It's an inch and a half. Then it'll be easier to picture the bottom stud because this will face this adjoining wall. But from your stud, come over three and a half. Obviously, inch and a half depth. This will be flipped this way. So that's why it's laid out like that. But you can see where my red mark comes in is right here. When you go to lay your drywall here, and then the termination of this stud is right there. So that gives you proper backing.
non-load bearing wall is going to be the lineup. Um, essentially, your for me it'll be my studs or my jacks for the concrete. You're going to set your um, jam extensions. So I planed them out, tacked them in place. Next, what you're going to do is take your speed square and line it up so it's flush with the top and then mark there, spin your square around, drop it to your inch and a half, come across, so that'll be my sill. Thing is, you just want that to plane out like so. Are right, your trimmer, I guess, 32 and 3 quarters. I already cut those, so I'll show you how it all goes together. And when you're nailing with a 3 and a quarter um, 16 nail, you'll have to angle it. You could nail or screw. And I straighten the stud or the cripple out as I go. Then you can shoot from the top down. Now we shoot the top first. And obviously make sure you're shooting galvanized nails when you're shooting into your bottom plate. And when you're nailing studs like this, it's usually best to cut them tight so you don't have to hold them in place. Now you'll take your, your trimmers or your cripples and nail on the sides of your um, king studs. Top up. Be careful of your window with your nail gun so when it bounces back it doesn't destroy your window. And that's where a right angle uh, driver comes in handy.